Hey, what's going on guys? Trex here, back with another BO2 gameplay. And today, we're starting a new series. It's called Classes Explained. And in the series, I'll, as you can see the class setup right there, uh, I'm going to be choosing, or making rather, different classes and explaining why they're good, why they're bad, what they can be used for, or, you know, that way, for some of you guys that are having trouble finding the right class for you, maybe this series could help you out and find a good class that you guys can use. So we're going to be playing Express on uh, TDM. This class has a frag grenade, a sensor grenade, the MP7 with foregrip and silencer, a ghost, dexterity, and scavenger, I believe. And this game was actually, I mean, the main idea of this class is kind of like what I've been doing in my other gameplays. Get them from the side, hit them where they're not used to being you know where go wherever your teammates are not basically wherever your teammates are not that's where you would want to go and I should mention when you're playing with fighting at 30 in this gameplay so the entire match I'm cooking up my frag grenades so that they can immediately explode and end up getting killed there and I'm also throwing my sensor grenades around corners and such so that I know it's if it's clear or not one thing I learned in this gameplay that I kind of regretted was that sensor grenades cannot pick up enemies if they are above or below the sensor grenade. I ended up dying by it right there. <laughs> I was not expecting the sensor grenade to be able to kill me, but it did. Uh, I believe we go 24 and 7 in this gameplay. And like I said, I mean, this class, what you want to do is you want to sneak around the outside, like I've said in my other videos, just sneak around the outside and pick off kills and the other good thing about this class is you're not going to be seen by UAVs and stuff so you can easily get around the enemy and while they're distracted pick them off that's why this class is really perfect for me because it is so good for my playstyle I like to be sneaky I like to show up behind them go where, wherever my teammates aren't sneak up behind them and kill them rather than rushing to the middle like my teammates do normally I should mention the name of this class is called Assassin for exactly the reasons I've talked about. Sneaky, you know, show up behind when they're not expecting it. And uh, here I got a little bit risky and I ended up paying for it. Um, this class definitely should not be rushed with. If you rush with this class, you're probably going to die pretty quick because I believe the silencer in this game does take away damage. So, I mean, if you start rushing with this class, you're most likely going to die every time. And I've, I made a few mistakes in this game, and that's why I ended up dying a few times. But here I pick off a nice double kill. Like I said, my teammates were in this building that I'm in now, and the enemies were in the other. So they were firing at each other. I came up from the side. Of course, they didn't expect me to be there, and I pick off the kill. Now here, I try to throw the grenade over, and it hits the roof of the train and almost hits me. It almost kills me, so I almost had a little suicide there, but... And then I sit here and I wait for this guy. I figure he's coming around, and I think he went on top of the train because he did not come around that corner. So I'm going to keep rushing. I notice that there's none of my teammates over here. So but then they, so I start running over there, and then, of course, my teammates start spawning in there. So obviously I'm going to go to the other side of the map. And I spend a lot of my time in this train, and here's why. Boom. They don't expect you to be there. Like I said, they're too busy rushing my teammate's spawn that I can easily show up in the train right next to them. They won't see me, and I can pick off the kill. Now, these buildings that I'm in right now, these little buildings that are adjacent to each other, they're very, very dangerous, especially for a class like this, because that's where a lot of people like to rush around, and they think they're being you know, sneaky and getting around people, but they're really not because it's a really common place. Uh, I probably should not have jumped up here. I do end up getting the kill, but I also die. So, you know, when kill, when death, kind of a trend that happens a lot in my Call of Duty games. Um, so right here, this will be where you notice what I was talking about earlier with the sensor grenades. I throw the sensor grenade. It doesn't pick up anybody, so I think it's safe, and the guy was right there. If Fighting Adam wasn't behind me right there, I would have easily been dead. So I pick off the sniper. Uh, I jump out. I notice that Fighting Adam got killed. I turn around, and I get the kill. So once again, just going to stay near this spawn, you know, try to stay away from everybody. That way they don't see me. I like these little ramps as well. 
because I've noticed a lot of people in, in the earlier parts of the game a lot of people use them at the very beginning but I haven't been seeing them a lot and right here boom there's a kill and boom there's another kill so I end up getting the double there and then I'm not sure why I kept running because all of my teammates are on that side of the map and as soon as I notice that I go to the other side so once again sensor and frag I try to throw those two together um, I throw the frag first to clear it out and then I throw the sensor to make sure that there's no one left and if there is then I know where they are it's kind of like a portable uh, orbital reset that's what I like about the sensor grenade and it's perfect for this kind of class and there you go I get picked off there I probably I think I probably should have gotten that kill I mean it looked like I was gonna get it so I throw the frag once again I didn't throw the sensor this time I hop at the window I figure I, I'm gonna sneak up behind this guy I end up getting him Arcade turns around I still get him Throw a sensor grenade down the ramp, make sure that none of his friends are coming up the same way. Now, this was one of the only times I went through this area. It didn't, I don't think it cost me, but I mean, like, I'm going through the middle. I don't normally go through the middle with this class. But I should also mention that I do not have this class set up anymore as I pick up a, uh, a quick uh, double kill. Well, not really double kill, just one kill and another one. And uh, I should mention that I have prestiged. I did have the gameplay of my first. Uh, game with prestige and I ended up going really really well um, it was over four I think it was over 50 kills and it was under 10 deaths and I had recorded it but I accidentally deleted it instead of deleting one of the gameplays that I had messed up so I ended up deleting that footage um, so just I'm just saying right now I have prestige so I do not have this class set up anymore so all of the future episodes of uh, classes explained will be uh, have to be like lower level guns for a little while as I almost got killed by that guardian but the game ends so that's gonna be the game we ended up winning uh, by actually quite a bit so that's gonna be it for me that's me signing out see you guys later